na story pwara ya ya na tanga na tanga ya doe West Mampruzi is one of the 20 districts in the northern region of Ghana. The district is predominantly rural, with more than 70% of the population living in rural settlements. About 80% of the people depends on agriculture for their livelihood. The main land uses reflect the almost total rural base of the district economy with the smallholder farmers representing the main user of agricultural land that is cultivated mainly with cereals, including maize, millet, sorghum and guinea corn, pulses, watermelons, vegetables and tuber crops. Less than 1% of the rural population has access to electricity and fossil fuel. So, two of the main problems are the low pace of rural electrification and the increasing use of charcoal and firewood for cooking, which result into overexploitation of forest resources. The heavy demand on the vegetation for domestic energy use is causing land and environmental degradation, which is accelerating desertification processes. Because of the absence of electricity infrastructures, communities' livelihoods are affected by the high fuel prices that seriously impact on the access to fossil fuel for lighting and for running engines. But the lack of organized local business and cooperative groups and the lack of skills for enterprise development are the main problems in West Mampruzi. As a fence nearby the houses, a plant is used. A poisonous plant, resistant to high degrees of aridity. Yatrofa curcas, whose seeds contain up to 35% of oil. Yatrofa is one of the main protagonists of the Gaia project. Uh, Gaia is a project that comes from the intuition di un, gran, di un grande amico e anche un grosso personaggio che si chiama Arba Diallo, che allora era segretario esecutivo uscente della Convenzione delle Nazioni Unite per la lotta alla siccità e alla desertificazione, che mi chiese, ma tu fai tante cose, dico, non ti puoi occupare anche della iatrofa, quindi un'idea africana, e viene realizzato in Ghana, nella zona nord, per iniziativa del Nucleo di Ricerca della Desificazione in totale sinergia con l'Università di Kumasi, studiando noi insieme, NRD e l'Università di Kumasi, le strategie possibili e trovando gli interlocutori che poi sono oggi i nostri partner. Noi volevamo eh, un, un approccio bottom-up, cioè coinvolgimento diretto delle popolazioni. Volevamo avere un perfezionamento di alcune conoscenze specifiche per la zona e quindi istituzioni di ricerca che ci affiancassero. Volevamo avere un controllo da parte di chi è deputato alla programmazione dello sviluppo agricolo nella zona e diciamo rappresentanza del Ministero dell'Agricoltura che si chiama MOFA e che si occupa di queste cose. La trofa che aims a migliorare le comunità in termini di fuel needs. In terms of income, we intend and MOFA embrace the project to enable the beneficiaries also earn some income through the production of Jatrofa. Uh, farmers' attitude towards uh, devoting all their time or good time for the production of Jatrofa was initially not the best. And it is because I think it's natural of farmers that they think that they were not seeing any dividends initially. But when uh, some of the platforms were set up and they begin to see oil flow from their seed, they found that, yes, this is a good thing and they could benefit from it.
Eh, qua siamo nella comunità di Parigu dove abbiamo installato la prima facility e eh, sulla base dell'esperienza di questa eh, facility dimostrativa abbiamo poi costruito altre eh, due facility nel, eh, nelle diverse comunità. La diatrofa è repellente per gli animali in quanto contiene una sostanza che eh, si sviluppa nei primi sei mesi di vita e che conferisce a questa pianta appunto una repellenza per cui viene utilizzata proprio come bordura, come recinto, come recinzione per impedire agli animali di entrare nelle parcelle eh, do, ehm, fondamentalmente eh, destinate alle colture alimentari e viene utilizzata appunto come possiamo vedere qua vicino alle case proprio perché eh, la credenza popolare vuole che sia anche repellente per diciamo gli, gli serpenti per esempio che sono una delle maggiori cause di morte in, queste, eh, in questa zona e anche eh, per le zanzare. My interest came up as a result of that uh, hypothesis. First, we should be able to know the effect of the atrofa on the soil so that we'll be able to give proper agronomic uh, uh, technologies to the farmers. We identified degradable areas in the West Mapusi area and that is where the project is uh, concentrated. We have accumulated enough uh, data on the atrofa uh, production in the area. realize that the cereals are very sensitive to intercropping therefore uh, which means that if you intercrop um, cereals with the trophy you get lower yield but if you intercrop um, legumes like cowpea and uh, soya bean you don't have any effect on the yield and we did this because this was to determine what we actually want to translate into the community since it's a community development project. TCC designed and came out with the decorticator, which works at the rate of uh, 240 uh, kilograms of datufa fruits per hour to have um, a good uh, production machine the, for the extraction of the oil. We needed a very good expeller. Unfortunately, we, don't, we didn't have that technology in Ghana, so um, expellers were Export, uh, imported from, uh, from China. And these are the spellers that we have been using. Now, the, uh, these expellers um, have the capacity of four to five tons per day. This project has been a surprise for us. We learned how to get some benefits from the extraction of the oil from Jatrofa seeds. But the most important thing is that we started joining together in order to constitute groups, thanks also to the precious contribute of our partners who facilitated the process. This has been really important because we got training. We learned how to manage business and to process soap. The latter was really important, especially for women who started getting some benefits from this kind of activity. I have been elected as a leader and starting from that moment I understood that the best way to manage things was to establish a constant relationship among all the various groups, communities and leaders and meet them in order to discuss about how to manage facilities and face the challenges that will occur when the project will end. My role, my major role on this project I serve as a facilitator between the new energy and the groups that, that we are dealing with. And specifically, we, we go to the community to sensitize them on the project. We also put them into groups and then train them. We've also facilitated the monitoring and also 
uh, carry out some training on cooperatives, establishment and management. In the particular gadget project, New Energy is responsible for community animation, community entry, group formation, group training, and capacity building of the communities to be able to take part in the project and also continue at the end of the project. Uh, Dall'inizio del progetto sono state coinvolte circa 1200 persone. Eh, a queste persone è stato proposto di coltivare la iatrofa in terreni che non usavano, quindi marginali e non fertili. Eh, è stato quindi proposto loro di ehm, dedicare un acro o due acri dei loro terreni per questa coltivazione e questa coltivazione è stata vista come un'integrazione un alle loro normali attività, alle loro normali coltivazioni perché si ritiene che comunque in contesti eh, resi vulnerabili dai cambiamenti climatici è importante offrire delle soluzioni alternative agli agricoltori. We settled on seven communities in which we started first with 14 groups and we assisted the people to understand the project and in communities where they didn't have groups, they formed groups of 30 people maximum. Over the whole period, we have supported finally working in 15 communities and we have 37 registered cooperatives. These cooperatives were assisted by the Department of Cooperatives to understand how to operate as groups and so these 37 cooperatives are existing in what we have divided is called cluster areas. We have four clusters. Now, out of all the 37, we have, with the support of cooperatives, formed a district union of cooperatives, societies, so that this union becomes the body that will take responsibility for the assets and other things after the end of the project. Mm -hmm. So they can see some concrete opportunity. And I think they believe that, and particularly the women group, who were responsible for the soap making. Right now when you go, you meet some very active women who are using the trova oil to make soap, which improves their income. I started learning how to process the local soap since 2004. I attended the first training in El Rigo, and second training was in overseas. I was taught how to process BF soap, key soap, brilliant soap and any soap during the second training. I learned how to process the round soap in 2014. I have seen that the soap making business is profitable. Those that I have trained in the communities under Gaia project have formed association and started processing the soap in their various communities. Because whatever is happening on the Gaja project is to assist the district assembly to achieve their energy needs. So it is not, it is in conformity with even the assembly uh, development plan. Gaja project started very well with an effective collaboration between the assembly as the local authority and the, the project implementing, implementation team. My elders and I have constant consultation with the society leaders on how to take care of the fields and the platform. I always consult with the group leaders. I don't have problem with them. The main task of the facilitating team is to play the role of these partners when they are away. And uh, fortunately, they have uh, constituted the Getrufa uh, farmers into an association with an executive. Anybody in the community can use any part of the land to cultivate yatrofa. Once the person will get the profit from the sale on the yatrofa products. When they produce yatrofa in sale, I will collect the money or the seeds from them to process food. The project is good to me. And I think that uh, at the end of the time, farmers will be smiling. For now, they have already seen the good aspect of it and they are going ahead to put all their efforts so that they can make maximum benefit. We as a community, 
will be adhered to those management ethics to ensure the continuing functioning of the machines. Every day we always encourage and advise everyone to ensure the progress of the project and our community. Anytime people gather at my palace, I always advise them to take proper care of their fields and the platform for the sustainability of the project. This will make us and the donor happy, just like the way they came to interact with me. This particular project took a different turn, unlike the large farms and all those, uh, the approach that was used previously. This one was a decentralized approach. And with this decentralized approach, the benefit goes straight to the farmers. The farmers are able to see, uh, to handle the processing themselves. Because the group, comunque, is seen as a moment of learning apprendimento dagli altri perché si scambiano esperienze, si scambiano idee, eh, si aiutano gli uni con gli altri ed è anche un momento di empowerment, eh, inteso proprio come momento in cui si prendono delle decisioni per la comunità, eh, per il gruppo, quindi il gruppo che era nato comunque come uno strumento del progetto per la coltivazione della iatrofa, eh, in realtà ora è, è divenuto uno strumento per tutte le attività che si svolgono nella comunità. And we are happy to be part of this uh, wonderful initiative uh, through the uh, EU uh, support. Il progetto Gaia credo che abbia onorato le attese. Bisognerebbe che qualcuno anche dicesse quanto vale il lavoro del, 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 del popolo africano nel momento in cui si fanno cooperazioni di questo tipo. E le braccia di queste persone valgono quanto il denaro dei paesi ricchi, l'Europa in questo caso, che cerca di dare il suo supporto ma che deve mettere in agenda che questo tipo di iniziativa europea non avrebbe futuro se non ci fossero le braccia di coloro che partecipano a questo disegno. Shawna. Uh -huh.